Hello Lola's, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name is the same as it is here, Miss Serenity Smith. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay, if you guys want merch, the link is in the description bar as well as join in the chatter box. So, and I know, I owe you guys. We, we we getting there one step at a time one step at a time <laughs> um so yeah so we have i have baby nigel here and i just came back to clear some things up i was thinking about this as i went through comments as i you know went through some of my emails some of my messages and just talking to my friends and just all in the excitement and you guys know when you have get a box you do a box opening i'm gonna give him a bottle hopefully i don't make a big big mess he hasn't had any real like water anything going down in his drinking wet in a long time because he does actually have the drinking wet system so i figured i would give him an actual bottle oh yeah mama gonna make a big mess Ooh. Sometime I make a mess. Okay. All right. Let's see. Can we? Oh. Okay. Not so bad. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, the first. First attempt was not so so successful. So anyway. Oh. I think I'm making a mess. I can't do it. This 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 is not my best bottle. To do this with. I don't know why I think the nipple is really, really big. Ooh, uh, you're getting a little wet. Okay, I'm still gonna have to change him because he drinks some. But um, anyway, let's just get to it. So, in the midst of being super excited about my new baby, my Gabigail, if I could tell him, um, if you guys haven't seen that box opening, it's still still up. Uh, for some reason, it disappeared for a while and then it showed back up. So. In any case, um, between that and between the, the next day video, I was very excited and I said some things I need to clarify. Um, I made a statement of this is the best reborn baby I've ever had or ever gotten in my collection. Let me clarify. I have collected, you guys know, well over 150 dolls in my collection well over 20 something 30 odd different artists work most of them most of them very very small percentage maybe three percent of what i've ever collected has been totally terrible most of them were you know decent good average great exceptional that type thing but what I was saying is that the skin tone, the coloring, the whole package, the way she's put together, the sculpt, everything together, her hair, everything is so realistic and so to, so natural to an uh, African-American baby or African baby, whatever, you know, black baby. So... I, and all the ones that I've had as far as vinyl go that I've collected from other artists, I think she's far more the, the most beautiful baby I've collected. I will definitely own those words. I don't mean to offend anyone and say, you know, I get excited when I get babies that I really, really love that works for me, that is in my taste and my, you know, you know, my style, I get overly excited. And I get caught up in the moment. And when I'm live and when I'm not live and I'm recording, I don't pre-think what I'm going to talk about, where I'm going to go in my subjects. And so I didn't mean to offend other artists. Um, and how, let me be honest, I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys right now. I'll be honest, what made me realize what I had said was when someone made a comment to me that was similar to it. And I was like, that hit different like they were like basically like oh this is the best baby you you got in your collection and i was like oh what what <laughs> you know it's kind of like 
like it's you know it, it kind of sounds like you ain't never collected a, a baby this this nice before type thing you know what I mean like it kind of reads different and sometimes you know we we as artists we as collectors we wear our hearts on our sleeves sometimes and sometimes we read too much into things and you have to understand that it's a very emotional high when we get box openings and when we have babies and that's also the same thing as when people get babies and they're really excited about the box opening because they just got it and it's really excited it's very new and they say oh this baby is great 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 they shut off the camera they sit down and they really look at the baby and start dressing the baby and then they realize oh my god the whole ear is not painted or oh my god the baby is not that great okay you know blah 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 you know and it's kind of like because the adrenaline and the excitement is wore off and now we're really seeing it for what it is so to speak so that happens too with box openings but anyway nevertheless i just wanted to come on and clarify and apologize to anybody that might be offended that i've had their babies or i have their babies in my collection at this point but for that category i do have to say i'm sorry it is what it is in my personal opinion for that skin tone she is the best baby that i've collected for that skin tone in fact i haven't even had that many reborns in that skin tone but i've seen quite a bit and always wanted one but i've always wanted to get that right one you know what i mean so yes and let's let's you know let's keep in mind that also you know this is one of the things i kind of get spanked for you know if i say too much good if i say too much bad either way <laughs> But let's 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 just say that allow me the time to praise somebody else's work. Like I know my worth as an artist. I know, you know, the worth I can see the worth and appreciate other people's value and worth in their, their artistry and what they're doing um for us in the community, those of us that collect. It's so many amazing artists out here. And I, you know, a lot of people, there's a lot of artists that's not really like big names, not really popular, not popping. You know, people are not rating them as high in, but they really are high in type thing. Um, if you're not charging three, four thousand dollars for your work, people don't consider you to be top notch. But I've seen people that do charge that type of money and work is still not top notch or high end in my opinion as far as the type of quality that they put into their work the type of um technique and skill it, it's just a lot of different things and it depends on what you're looking for and what you like and um but i will not take away my my compliments i will not talk take away from that artist you know work i will not apologize for saying her work is phenomenal because it is it is amazing and i love it i love the technique i love the style um it's very different um the texture the way she did the texture i really like that um it's a very soft look um and as dark as the baby is the paint is not so thick and heavy and it does she doesn't look muddy or anything in person she looks just as beautiful as her photos if not more so in person so you know i you know I, like i said y'all know how i am about my clear teller and you know i think that she's an amazing artist i think she's an amazing sculptor i think sculpting matters i think that having a phenomenal artist paint on a phenomenal sculpt is an amazing and a beautiful thing and people get upset with me for that some time but you know it everybody have their thing and art is it's so emotional and it's so it has so many unique things that pull each person differently um there are certain artists that i see work and they're sculpting and it's just like i'm just standing still in a moment in awe of it you know bonnie brown is another one that i absolutely am amazed with her work um natalie blick you know just phenomenal um there are some other ones out there that i am trying to get my hands on audrey stoetti i've had her babies before but my mick 
amazing gave me goosebumps just seeing the blank vinyl so you know is it not okay for us to 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 praise artists or other collectors collections and be happy that we we have you know talent out here like that is it always got to be about nasty distasteful you know critiques or you know you know spilling the dirty tea can we spill some warm nice soothing tea every now and then can we say hey look who i found out here that you guys haven't discovered yet can we do that can is that okay or is it not are y'all mad or not nah? <laughs> and like my kids would say period poo <laughs> but um yeah it's like you know People want, I don't know what you want from me. I'm in a happy place. I'm in a good place. I'm not to say that when I spill that hot tea, where I give y'all that dirty, dirty tea, that tea that, tea that kind of sing a little bit, burn down your throat when it go down, kind of feel like that rounded. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not saying that I'm miserable when I'm doing that. But I'm just saying, can y'all let me, can y'all let me be me for a minute? Can y'all let me be okay for a minute? Okay, sis. I'm gonna need y'all to calm down a notch. Be okay. Listen, it's enough greatness to go around. It's a whole bunch of greatness going on. I got um, who is it? I love Gina Reborn's um work. I love Natalie for Vitrova work or Natalia Vitrova, whichever way you pronounce it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I love Aveto uh, Cavavita and all these different names that I can't pronounce. Franca Blanque. Um, who else? I love a whole bunch of people work. Sculpting, y'all know. For me, it's Claire Teller, Bonnie Brown. Right now, Audrey Stoity is on my love list right now. Um, Natalie Blick was my number one. I used to love Tina Cooey, but I got outgrew that phase real fast. Um, there is, who else? There's quite a bit. Not quite a bit. There's actually not that many, to be honest, that I am like crazy 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 right now i'm actually even enjoying painting lordly eagles right now there's so many Laura who's a ross she's had babies that made my whole little heart jump you know i love the sculpting for uh alejandra uh she had did a long time ago i really love the sculpting on that baby i love the i love laura's sculpting i do um I, I actually even love Laura, L L L Lorna Miller Sands sculpting. There are so many people, like I said, so much, so much talent out here. And, but at the same time, it's double the amount of collectors. And as you guys know, it takes, you know, sometimes some artists six, eight weeks, sometime six, eight months before they put out a doll or whatever. So if we only have one great, doll you know it's not enough for every collector so and if it's only one great artist it's not enough for all of us we listen i'm all about finding new artists there's a lot of artists that i didn't even know exist that i'm finding out about that i'm like oh my gosh look at that work like whoa you know what i mean like it's just crazy i mean look at right now how the duanes by claire teller have been out for two years and all of a sudden now they're starting to pop the vinyl the vinyl sculpts that before nobody was really interested and in. all of a sudden now they're they're like oh look at these that's because we have so many other kits just popping out back to back to back to back sometimes we just overlook some kits we just skip over you know and then sometimes we have the waves of kits come back you know uh tink had been out forever and then all of a sudden we had a whole bunch of wave of the tinks again the levi's was out forever but when will smith had the levi on you know thing and it went viral everybody start back loving the levi's again so you know all i'm saying is that we can appreciate everybody's work not everybody i mean some people work whatever you know what i mean but we can appreciate good work and we can appreciate it can be more than one great person i can be great you can be great your mama can be great your daddy can be great your cousin can be great your co cousin cousin can be great your baby daddy can be great your neighbor can be great. I don't know who else can be great, but y'all can be great. You know what I mean? Like I said. But anyway, like I said, I'm sorry if your little feelings was hurt, but um, the baby is off, just awesome and amazing. 
but I also enjoy every baby that I have in my collection right now. Like I said, I have some really, truly, truly amazing artist work in my collection right now and I'm really enjoying it and I'm very grateful and I'm very thankful and I'm trust me I'm trying to hold on to it because hey things prices are going up stuff is going up you know stuff is becoming more rare and finding the ones that's actually limited is another whole story because you know right now a lot of stuff is not as limited and I'll talk about that and how I feel about that and how my opinions are starting to change about that as far as when it comes to um silicone and blank sculpts and all that great jazz but that's a whole nother subject but i'm gonna go now um oh i never changed you i will change you off camera then i have your diaper here but we'll talk later let me get this boy changed so i can get on with my day i think i need to have me a cup of coffee now i'm all hyped up right momo him and these little pajamas pajamas my ba bum pajam ba 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 my ba 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 loving it. <laughs> All right, baby. We'll talk to you later.